Well, hello everyone! Welcome, welcome back to Playframe and Bloodborne Co-op featuring two Dans. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? How's it going? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Dan? I'm doing so wonderfully. I've got a cathedral, and I got company in the cathedral today. Look at this pleasant little peach of a person we have just sitting in a chair. You. Stay away from me. Well, cool. She's lovely. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a lovely day. Sorry, co-op isn't started quite yet. It turns out you can't co-op in this area until a particular gate is opened, or a few of them. I don't remember. We'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, I'll run around and open those gates real quick, and then we'll get a jingle in town, because we got lots in this area to do in co-op, it turns out. So, let me go running around looking for a gate and such. Hey, while well, you're doing that, Dan, mm -hmm. can I, uh, talk with the play friends for a little moment? Oh, please do, yes. So, if you all aren't aware, while we're recording this, there's a, uh, there's a GDQ running for, uh, I, I don't want to say it because apparently people are getting demonetized, but the whole pandemic thing that's going on right now. Um, and they threw together, like, a few runs, and they're doing it all, you know, broadcasting from everyone's homes. Um, and I was informed and delighted that uh, some folks donated for Lady Jingle as the character name for the Dark Souls 1 run, and she actually won. And it blew my mind. Like, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Anyone who donated, not only for helping people who need it right now, but making a dumb idiot on the internet happy. <laughs> <laughs> That was an absolute delight of a run to watch. I watched the whole thing and donated for that same, uh, for that same incentive the instant people alerted me that it was happening, and I was so thrilled. It was such an exciting thing to see Jingle go on the fastest murder spree of Lord Jern ever. It was, it was a new, a new legend in the Lady Jingle tome. <laughs> it was super special. So, yeah, and that, that yeah. VOD's probably up on their channel at this point, so if y'all want to see a Lady Jingle kill every boss in Dark Souls in less than an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a very good run, and the runner was, like, very entertaining, too. It was it was perfect. Oh, it was a great run, yeah. Highly recommend. I'll, I'll link to it down below if it's if it's out, uh, if the VOD's available at this point. But yeah, you all have my sincere, deepest thanks if you donated or even just watched or anything. It was a very special treat, and thank you. Real good. Now, I think... That this gate that I've just opened with a special emblem is the correct one. Oh, uh -huh. and we're gonna be heading up there possibly by the end of this episode, depending on how fast things go. But now that that's open, I'm gonna see if that's the only one I need to open in order for uh, some co-op antics to happen. So let me head back. I think it should work from here. Where am I? Lost? No, wait. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh All these gothic cathedrals and... <laughs> it's the one across from the Applebee's, Dan. Come on, we talked about this. The Applebee's. I always forget about Yarnum's Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite hotspot location. Okay, can I, in here, use... Not yet. Maybe if I go a little further... Maybe if I head down here, that'll be a... Or up here, rather. Oh, is, is it still grayed out? Still grayed out. I think it might be the three gates then. I think it might be all three because I can I can use it in the church. Gotcha. Okay, I will move a little further through that area and open a couple more gates. I'll make it happen. I I believe in you, Dan. I believe in me too. That that initial run went pretty darn well, all things considered. And uh, oh yeah, and you have quite a few NPCs actually coming up too to talk to. Yeah, there will be a number of NPCs for sure. I don't know if I have to run into them in order to uh, hello. In order to, uh... Um, I don't know if I have to talk to them quite yet. I do definitely need to talk to them at some point, though. You need to, yeah. I think, honestly, before Rom is when you need to talk to them, but... Definitely, yeah. We got plenty of time before then. But uh, I can probably go chat with them once we got you in here with co-op and such. Oh, that's true. Two hunters <laughs> annoying them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll be so happy. Oh, we do have a looming bag fellow. Not gonna go tamper with that person yet. Bad guys are scary. The time for bag men can wait. Yeah, they're really unsettling. 
as are these. I love these dudes with the lanterns. They're also unsettling. Yes. But they're real cool. Ooh, what's your what's your insight at right now? My insight is at four currently. Oh, okay. Then never mind. <laughs> there are some things in this area that I could see a little bit earlier if I had higher. Oh no, if I had higher insight. But uh. Mm-hmm. So uh, and one of them, just to go ahead and spoil it, because I don't know if I'll have an opportunity to like show it later. Uh, when I opened that gate earlier, that big one, before I turned around to head back to the cathedral, you might have noticed that the way I opened it wasn't by like visibly using a key or by uh, like pushing the door open myself. Like I held out a bright thing in my hand and then the gate just opened. Uh, it turns out that the thing that opened that gate was actually a bunch of those little tiny messenger folks that we see in the dream, like and these folks right here. They're on the other side and some of, a bunch of them just pulled a lever to open it, which is real cool. And you'll only see those messengers if you have an inside of like 10 or something. That is very neat. I didn't know that, Dan. <laughs> it's real cool. <laughs> oh dang! I wish I saved mine so I could have looked because I I've never I don't think I've ever seen that. It's I think I only know that from a Vati Vidya uh, episode. That's great. Close by device. Okay, I need to go around the other side for this one. Cool, 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 cool. I can do that. Can I go this way? I don't think so. No, I think I need to go around. Yeah. Okay. I need to go around and open this gate from the other side, and that will hopefully do it. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of dicey uh, situations you got to deal with here. Quite a few. It's a good area. It's not like not one that I like. The bosses are, I guess, kind of the memorable part. But I like this area as a general place. Yeah, I mean, the whole cathedral world is is great. Mm hmm. Let's see. It'd be neat if they like reused it, but like like a nightmare version or something. That'd be really cool. Ah, can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can dream. Yeah. We can. <laughs> Kudos for that. That was real good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was a very good joke. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, how are you doing, fellow? With a flamethrower? My goodness gracious. Pardon me? No. He's like the one of those guys. Like, I don't think there's another flamethrower lad. I don't think there is, no. In the game. I don't remember another one. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, comments if you know of another one. That's that not like Chalice Dungeons or anything, just core game. If there's another one of those flamethrower lads, because I cannot think of one. I'm going to be honest, lore-wise, I do not remember the origin of these huge giants. They're awesome looking. I don't either, but yeah, they are very cool. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of not fighting that fellow for one thing. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of uh, lore research in advance on this one uh, on Bloodborne just because I've just to refresh my memory. Yeah. Mostly uh, close by device. That's right. I gotta go around. Dog on it uh, because I want to, like, when we do talk about lore stuff further down the road, I want to, uh, be a little bit more accurate. Mm-hmm. Huh, now there's a weird thing. Look at that weird thing, everyone. Wow, look at him. Look at how weird that thing is. What gross noises. Okay, now I know what weird thing you know exactly. is. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that would do it. Yep. <laughs> Weirdly, somehow, that is specific enough in this game. <laughs> you know, the one with the gross noises. <laughs> yeah. As it stands next to the giant crow dog with uh, the already haunting noises. Yep. <laughs> A feast for the ears, Bloodborne. Hmm. <laughs> Put on that Bloodborne track. I love this beat. <laughs> it's a bop. Uh, oh, yes. My favorite track. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this wonderful, gross game. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way again. I mean, I'm not dying or anything, which, so, like, that's great. Yeah. This is the wrong way, though, for sure, I think. Gotta go open these darn gates. Gotta get our co-op going on. So many gates. Too many of them. Who let the Yardum dogs out? <laughs> 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 yeah, I started saying it and immediately wanted to bail from that joke, but I was like, but it was, nope. No, it's too late. You're committed now. I'm committed. <laughs> mm, this may be a slightly risky way to go about this, but... 
there are a lot of folks around here. To be sure. You know, dropping down seems like the safest option, surprisingly, right now. Uh, let's loop our way around. Try to fight just a few at a time. So far, so good. Are we being followed? Yes, we are. Hmm, a little early on that. Harry. Ow. Boy, that's a mean looking weapon. Sorry, Dan Jones, that you cannot see it. Oh, I'm I'm imagining. <laughs> the mental picture is great. Ah. <sighs> I'm glad I chose a build that is viable for playing alone. <laughs> Unlike these last two runs you and I have done together. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You're you alone with the magic build, especially in like Dukes was a rough time. It sure was. But this time, I'm not completely helpless if I have to be by myself, which is a nice feeling for me. I I I think for when we hit uh, DS3, I'm gonna be that person. <laughs> Boy, what a strange role reversal that'll be. I know it's gonna be weird. <laughs> that'll be fun though. Yes, I'm quite looking forward to it. Me too. I think I'm going the right way this time. I had to do a little bit more solo hiking than I expected. But we'll get there. There's something up here. There is. There's like a little note. A watchman of Bergenworth guards the gate with a password. The sacred adage of the Grand Cathedral. Oh yeah, I haven't run into that person yet. Uh, drop down. Okay. And drop down. And we're on a roof. And from there... Yes, okay, good. We are on the side I wanted to be. So there's... Now we're on the other side of that gate, which I can hopefully open without getting too attacked by too many things. I think there's a dog down here. There is a dog down here. Glad I remembered the <laughs> dog. <laughs> now... Let's see how many gates we can open before we get pounced upon. Closed by a device. Where's the device, though? I know there's a device around here. Ah, there's a device. Boom. There's a gate. And another gate this away. Yeah, you should be like... Boom. Gates right after each other, yeah. Yeah. Just gates aplenty. And yes, that's all three of them. All right. Time to head on back. It's co-op time at last. The bells have been rung. Oh, and also, before then, though, finally this NPC has shown up. Good to see you again. Oh, hello there. Perfect timing. I must warn you not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad. And he's my mom. Indeed. Gonna have to deal with that Henrik situation later. Don't go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. I have business there first. <laughs> I do love Eileen the Crow. So Eileen here seems to be a hunter of hunters who go mad. Just uh, <laughs> sort of a, a check on the system, which is pretty cool. And we will help her with that hunt later. And hopefully she won't die. Last time I tried to do this, she died. <laughs> Which sort of ended her quest right there. But, uh, hopefully not this time. <laughs> hopefully not. Yeah, uh, this time I'm gonna wait till I'm a little stronger. Good call. Go in there and hopefully <laughs> make sure that that goes a little smoother. Uh, but yeah, now the beckoning bell should work. I think I can just go ahead and summon you right here in the dang chapel. Yeah. So, let's... Give it a old ringy dingy. I heard your bell. Hopefully soon. A jingle should come a calling. Searching for the chime of the beckoning bell. Play friends and strange denizens of YouTube alike. Please give a warm welcome. Fresh from her 
record-setting bloodbath in Lordran. <laughs> the one and only Lady Jingle. Hello. Why, hello there. And hey, look at you. You've got a new get-up going. What's this now? Uh, I found it. <laughs> and I... No questions asked. <laughs> well then, we are off this away, oh, I think. That is that is foggy. I cannot go that way. Okay, you know what? Let's de-summon you and then try summoning you in there because I think that'll actually work. I think they're just... It's counting it as separate areas because I can't go this way either. I... Real quick was checking and I don't think I can get summoned anywhere in there. Really? Well, mm -hmm. that's... Bummers and annoying. Let me find that. There's a device they gave me that should shoot uh... me. Oh yeah, it's like a, it's like a gun. Why do none of the guns work like actual guns except for Jura's gun? <laughs> uh, a silencing blank fire to end ongoing and prevent further cooperation. <laughs> That's how guns works. Interesting. It didn't do anything to me. Maybe I have to shoot the gun. Interesting. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the jingle is too powerful a being to be <laughs> for to be sent away by someone else. Jingle leaves when Jingle decides it's time to go. So okay. Oh uh, yeah, I can't use the beckoning bell in here. Well, this sucks. <laughs> um. Hmm. How best to go about this? Okay, everyone, we've <laughs> we've done our research and f come up with a new plan. Since I can only do that area solo, and since there's nothing in there that is super important, like there's no items or anything that I direly need immediately, we're, I'm going to go do that in a different episode later. Like, there are going to probably be some episodes in this series where I do, where I go solo and take care of just some, like, NPC quest stuff, and I'm going to lump this trip into one of those. Today, we are doing co-op things. Today, we are fighting a boss. Today, we summon the jingle once again. So, um, <laughs> uh, yes, play friends and YouTube denizens alike. The, the one, the only, the lady jingle, where are you? <laughs> I'm loading. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, fr fresh from the Lorger and Bloodbath sort of thing that went real fast. The one, the only, lady jingle, hey! Cheers and claps and such. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! And there she is once there again! She Yay! Is. Hey, with a new get up and everything. Yeah, <laughs> gotta be fresh. I found this one too. It was on the ground. Wow, you have been busy. <laughs> was it on the ground when you entered the scene? Or did it end up on the ground at some point? Uh, you know, the details are kind of fuzzy, you know? Okay, yeah, you know, that's alright. It's hard to remember all the things. <laughs> uh, have, you, have you talked to this? I have. Miss? Okay. Yes, we've had our conversation with the lovely Eileen. And now, and actually a lot of the enemies here are going to be dead. We do have some NPCs to talk to before we head all the way out, though. There's some folks who we need to, uh... What about Baglad? Mm, haven't talked to Baglad. And so long as we don't die to Baglad, then let's fight Baglad. Baglad's scary. Yeah, Baglad's real scary. Don't... Don't die to Baglad. I mean, eventually, maybe, die to Baglad, but... Right now, don't die to Baglad. Ooh, okay. Oh boy. Yeah, they're scary. They really are. <laughs> More bag lads to come. For now, we gotta go find some uh, random citizens in town. Yeah. Tell them about these safe places they can go. Let's go find them. Let's go find the handful of enemies who are still alive, too. Get him! <laughs> there he is! Good gracious. I that tell hurt. you that, thrust attack, man. <laughs> New joke. Oh, did you go up, go up here? There's, I think there's a shinier too. Oh, you're right, there are. Who is this again? This is... I think that's Alfred. Henriette. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember Henriette. But we don't need no Henriette. Did y'all see that R2 attack? Come on. <laughs> did you see it? Oh, I wanted to ask you this. Uh, hmm. I, I was watching the uh, episode that came out today. Can you yeah. go into a hammer form for me? Hammer form. Boom. And then what's your L2? My L2 is... Big oh, sweep. okay. Nice big arc. Nice. And it does stun enemies, uh, I found, like uh, hitting them with the gun. Oh, which I Yeah, like, I think I randomly hit an enemy with this, and it looked to me like it staggered him. I'm going to test that later, because it doesn't spend ammunition, which is cool. Yeah. But it is real slow. <laughs> real slow, yeah. 
real But it's slow. nice being a, a, a wide attack like that, not an overhead. Yeah. I also need to apparently try, like, uh, doing... Yeah, see, look at that. Like, transforming attacks on this look awesome. Yeah. Just attack. Transform. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of nuance to this weapon. You've got, um... Just, uh, for, for the audience, uh, at home, so you, you obviously you have your R1s, your R2s, and those all sometimes combo into each other. When you have a transform state, you have a unique L2. That's not your gun. Um, you also have a, uh, usually a unique, uh, when you backstep an attack. Uh, and both L1 and R, or R1 and L1. Oh my gosh, R1 and R2. Uh, and then you also have a unique running attack for both. Yeah. Um, sometimes they reuse uh, moves, but that's the that's the quick rundown of moves. And then you, of course, have a jumping attack for all of them. Yeah. So, like, there's not a ton of weapons in Bloodborne. The DLC, like, almost doubled the count. There's yeah. like, way more weapons with the DLC added that, unfortunately, are pretty hard to get until late. But uh, the nice thing is that all the weapons that are in here are, like, their move sets are really robust. There's tons of variety within them and they're really polished and interesting so like yeah yeah big fan so okay uh let's see best way to get toward all those that's kind of like a roundabout way but we'll run into some more enemies to take out so let's do it yeah we'll run into them all oh here's a shiny say hi to some some big lads some rather large lads hello boys Large and in charge. With good hats. Boy, oh boy. And I helped. <laughs> and I helped. <laughs> Blue elixir. Yeah, we will, by the way, like, um, I mentioned uh, that we might do some kind of like solo lore intermission episodes in the future. When we do, we'll also do some item description reading and such. So, uh... Oh, he had no health. <laughs> you are shutting him down here. Easy game. <laughs> I feel safer with a jingle around, which is something that is not true for literally anybody else in this world. <laughs> You're on my list. The lucky list. <laughs> not a long list, it turns out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it a list or is it kind of just like one name written on a sticky note? <laughs> it's it's a list, uh, but I, you know, I cross names off of it pretty often. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so being on the list can be a somewhat temporary thing. Mm -hmm. I see. Good to know. Gotta mind oneself. <laughs> it's like the, uh, oh shoot. What's the theme in that movie? Billy Madison. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, no, it's cool. <laughs> oh, have you talked to Yosefka? I have gone and talked to Yosefka. I don't know if I need to okay. talk to Yosefka again, but, uh, yeah. All right, so, first person we need to talk to. Knock, knock. Oh, my, what a queer scent. Thank you. Might as well take it over the stench of blood and beast any day. What is it, then? I'm off during hunts, and besides, this is no place for ladies. Wouldn't want to drag you down, too. <laughs> yes, but there's more to be said. Oh, thank goodness. You're a hunter, aren't you, dear? Might you know of a safe place? I Nothing do, in fact. And there's very little of the incense left. Please, there must be some nice place to run off to. There is, in fact, one of these. This one. Oh, thank you, dear. Perhaps I'll see you there. Wonderful. Okay. So, she's... Why not the clinic, Dan? <laughs> you know, why not the clinic? Next time... <laughs> Next time <laughs> we'll recommend the clinic. You don't say anything else, do you? Oh, thank you, dear. Perhaps I'll see you there. Nope. Okay, cool. Now, this- oh, hello. <laughs> now, this other individual. You! You're not from around here, are you? 
Or an outsider who's come to join the hunt? What a pathetic idea. You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I think you're a beast. <laughs> and step away from my castle. I like this guy. Oh, enough of you. What, you think this is funny? Well, I certainly don't, so be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beast hunts. Oh, come now. Well, what's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. Never hey, mind. Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your coin. <laughs> oh, everyone in this town's so nice. Uh, all right. What crafty lies does the outsider have today? You think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. Ah, uh, okay. This fellow, we are going to tell to go to Yosefka's clinic. Now, that's normally not a thing that if you know in advance how things go, normally not a thing you'd want to tell somebody uh, to do in order to stay safe. But this guy's really belligerent. He's going to go to the opposite place, I tell him. <laughs> so in order to keep him safe, we're going to tell him to go to the <laughs> wrong place. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't trust us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that, bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. <laughs> I love this guy. Okay. Well, see you there. <laughs> All right. I remember this area being kind of hazardous. Oh. Maybe because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> well, here's the door. Oh, yeah. Here's the door. I don't remember this one. in there okay same line cool all right goodbye I believe I, unless you've already picked it up there's a shiny Ooh, here right you are whoa black church stuff awesome you know I could use a costume change an important set that is an important set we're gonna need that way in the future aren't we a couple times actually for some neat things some things Let's go ahead and have a costume change. Why not? This is fashion born, isn't it? Lovely. <laughs> oh yeah, and that same effect you were talking about before. My face is mostly still a mess where the mask was before. <laughs> Rest of the face is clean. Looks oh, like that's I'm wearing... so cool. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm wearing a little Zorro mask. <laughs> All right. And another goodie. Poison More knives. Goodies. Wonderful. Poison yeah. knives are really nice for one thing way down the road. Oh, yeah. Gosh. I forgot. Now, this area I cleaned out, and it all went super elegantly. Rest assured. Wow. Yeah. I'm very, I'm very impressed, Dan. As well you should be. Not a single thing went wrong or bad. Amazing. Barrels. <laughs> Okay. We are just about ready for boss times, I think. Did you, um, go down the other path where the, um, 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 um binocular is? I should go grab that while we're here. Like, I, yeah. I could do that whenever, but, you know, why not? It's a, it's a thing that we can do. It's a thing we can do. There we go, and there we go. Dog already taken care of. Nice. Now then. Let's just go ahead and take that there other path. We have a good run. There's something just like... The stamina goes away just slow enough so like you still feel like you can actually run a pretty decent amount. Yeah. You don't feel too like... Skyward Sword. <laughs> That's a very good way to put it. Oh. Sturdy one. With some angry birds. So angry. So <laughs> angry. <laughs> Chill out, birds. Yep. Yeah. 
birds. Come on, birds. Gracious. I was thinking this morning when I was like, like starting to plan out our routes for some of these episodes, and I wonder, like, I wonder if Bloodborne is my favorite one of these Soulsborne games. It's hard to say. Like, I really love Dark Souls 2, but there's something so cohesive about this one. Yeah. It's all, like, nicely bundled up in a single game. It's beautiful throughout. It's, uh... It's really good. <laughs> I also, uh, I recently replayed, like, a, a bunch of Bloodborne just, um... Doing doing other builds and stuff, yeah. and I think this is easily the hardest from soft game. Oh yeah, I I would say this is much harder than Dark Souls or, or Sekiro. Ooh, even Sekiro. I would say Sekiro is probably the easiest from soft Ooh. game. Interesting. But I also feel like I I played way too much Sekiro really quick. <laughs> oh, a little scary lad. Oh, I missed him. I'll work Dang on this fellow while you uh. Handle skittery lads. I love this guy's moveset. It's just bonkers. It's real cool. And he's dead. <laughs> and he's dead. He didn't get to throw a tantrum. It's true. But yeah, all, all that to say, like, I don't know that this is necessarily my necessarily my favorite Soulsborne game, but it is way up there. It is just extremely good. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's really dang good. I think it's just impossible for me to choose a favorite of all, all these. <laughs> uh. No one's safe. <laughs> oh, they have bones in them. I didn't know that. Oh, really? Look at that. Cool. There's like skeletons oh, yeah. and stuff. Neat. <laughs> I was just enjoying you watching you paint on this canvas of a room. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's open this. I forget what's in here. It is... Ah, Tempering Blood Gemstone, and here is a door that does not open. It's a shame it doesn't, because it actually opens up onto the bridge. Uh, if it did open, it would open onto the bridge where we fought the Cleric Beast. I was gonna tell you that. <laughs> so I'm glad you knew. <laughs> That's the thing I knew. I think it's real awesome. I don't know why they decided that that door shouldn't be openable, but maybe it was like a loading thing. It might have been a loading thing, but uh... That, or maybe they wanted to force you through Gascoin. That's true. Could you have avoided Gascoin? Well, I mean, they could have made it, like, locked from... You had to get around to this side to open That's it. That's true. They could have... put in a, a key or, or locked it from that side. As, as yeah. Door does not open from this side. It's Dark Souls, like, <laughs> logo. That old Dark Souls classic. Is there another stretch area around here that we can get to? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Well, wonderful. I feel proud of what we've done today. You did get the little shiny over here, right? I did get the little shiny over here. Okay. A little monocular, which will be great for getting closer looks at things. Yes. If we decide that's a thing we want to do. Yes. Yeah. But now, I think it's time to start heading bossward. Yeah. We could also do that, um, that the right side, right in front of the, uh, the church, because yeah. that's kind of, um, Stuff that's in like a weird limbo between zones that's not really part of either zone. Yeah, I'm game for that. We're and it's got fun. hunters. It has got hunters. Hunter Ooh. must hunt. Yeah, that'll, that'll be a good warm up. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> Rip that guy. Well, I like these guys. They they got the guns and they got the big white hat. Oh yeah, big gun folk. They're real obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, the scythe guy is a pain in the butt. Oh, I remember, him, I remember him killing me a lot in my first playthrough. Yep. Man. Nice. <laughs> Nicely timed. Oh, I missed. The damage you do. It's that charge attack is like bonkers compared to the rest of this moveset. <laughs> it's really great. Cause like my my swings are like I, I really just they do not put out much damage, but that mm. charge is bonkers how much it does. 
Oh, in these lands. Yeah, our first introduction to new mechanic lands. I might have uh, wandered off in a different direction from you. I was just grabbing a couple of little goodies here. Oh, what you getting? What you got? It's one more goodie that's up there, and I forget how to get to it. That goodie is the zone that uh, you'll do yourself. Oh, you're right. Gosh. Yeah, right you are. Because that's how normally you would get through here without having to purchase that emblem or um, <gasps> that's open right. it from the backside. I remember now. Oh, it's been a while. Feels good being back in this game. Oh, yeah, and these <laughs> fellows right here. Don't get hit by those. Nope. Oh. Oh. I got hit what by did, those. What did so, you just say, Dan? I know, I just obeyed my own <laughs> rules. You see that meter going up there. That that right there. It, it's functions similarly to like a poison or some other status effect, up to a point. The frenzy meter doesn't do anything to you instantly. But as that meter builds, uh, if it fills all the way up, you will take a bonkers amount of damage yeah, <laughs> from it. It's like just, Dark Souls bleed, but way way stronger way worse <laughs> yeah that status effect is called frenzy and generally i don't like it as a mechanic in the game but i love it from the way it ties into lore you remember how we were saying before how the way that insight works the more of it you have the more damage you can take from certain stuff frenzy is one of the things that does way more damage to you the more insight you have and some of the cool things like one of the cooler things in this game is that some enemies that are really just like visually upsetting do <laughs> frenzy damage to you just by you looking at them so you have to just like kill them as fast as you can to make them stop building that frenzy meter just looking at them the more you understand the more of like you can peer past the veil the more you can see their horror the more damage the more physical damage they can do to you it's really cool and very scary yeah i don't remember which one of these pathways has a shiny for you on it um, yeah. But I know if we fall down this way, we can uh, deal with a there little a friend down there. I do see a shiny down here on the roof, so let's drop. And yes, here we go. Yeah. Now, where's the friend? There's a couple He's friends right, down he's here. He's right next to us, right okay. there. Okay. And... He's got my weapon. There we go. Ah, oh, they turned around right at the last second. Ooh, he's quick. Whoa, quick and strong. Oh, no. That was a one shot. Devastating. They want me to attack. <laughs> I was like, why can't I attack? <laughs> okay. Good to know. Hunters want to play. Hunters want to play. And they have our echoes now, so we have to play. They got to play. They took our ball. Now we have to play him for it. <laughs> oh, hey. We got to play frame it forward. <laughs> Look who's decided to join us. Oh, hello, dear. Hello. You weren't lying. This is a safe place. Thank you. I am in your debt. Ah, thank you for the gesture. I'd like to tender my thanks, but I can't imagine what to offer. All I can give... Whoops, sorry. <laughs> oh, What'd you do? Dear. Nothing. Oh, you okay. Lying. This is a safe place. Accidentally bumped the L2 button. <laughs> In your I sorry. have accidentally shot and like sliced a few NPCs. Can't imagine what to uh, and and also non-accidentally. <laughs> But, yeah, I, I think, uh, I was streaming the other day, and I did it to the doll, and I just went into full panic mode. I was like, oh, oh gosh, <laughs> that would be the worst. Yeah, no, that <laughs> you'll see it when the episode comes out, but it was just because just I had, like, the gun out. It was just a point-blank shotgun <laughs> blast to the face, and then the conversation politely resumed, because <laughs> she's cool. <laughs> That's fine. Anyway, I will receive the blood treatment. Thank you. Oh, good. Come close, dear. Don't worry, I've done this before. <laughs> Alright, so we have received some blood from Ariana. And that blood is like a really, really good blood vial. That's just sort of a one-time use. And we can come back and ask her for some more later if we want. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, oh, we have another visitor here in town. Hello. Ah, you. The swindling offcomer. That's me. Did you really think that'd work? <laughs> no fooling me. Now, off with you. You heard me. Go away. I can't stand the stench of your lying breath. No, you're right. There's no getting nothing past you. <laughs> uh, so smart. Anyway, let's get a jingle back in here. Let's. Ooh, that is so cool that I can hear the bell. I agree. That is such a nice touch. I'm so happy it works that way. Hey, there she is. All right, let's go get our ball back. All right. <laughs> now I'm mad. <laughs> uh, Jingle's mad now, everyone. Ooh. I just thought of the- okay, she's still there. Never mind. Hello, hello. Is there two birds? No, just the one bird. Okay. Handled. You kill one bird with two weapons. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh man. It's just so delightful seeing those damage numbers on that ranged attack. This is a- this is a- oh. <laughs> Nothing unsettling about that. Oh no. What's a, a stroller in a wheelchair? <laughs> it's fine. Just yarn him things. Just yarn him things. I was like, where is the big lad? Whoa. -ho. There he is. I have found the big lad. Oh, did Whoa. you get a visceral on him? I guess so? I didn't fire the gun. Uh, did you attack his face? Or did you get I a hit I, on his face? I think I did get a hit on his face, yeah. Nice, yeah. Nice. Sometimes that'll, uh, trigger. Unintentional pro moves, everyone. Yeah, look at us. No frenzy. No frenzy. Do not want. Do not. Okay. This time, though. This time it's personal. Yes. And by personal, I mean like, you killed us. Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. My echoes are right here. We won't have to kill the hunter to get him back. Huh. Which is great, because there's a lot of them. <laughs> Let's go to war. And win the war this time. That's important. All right. Now, don't turn around this time. Dang uh. it. Dog got, that, got that perception. Okay, just keep keep them this way so they don't trigger the other one. <laughs> yeah, we definitely do not want to be fighting two. Nope. Oh! Boy, I do so little damage to them. That shotgun. I could be doing that, but <laughs> I don't have infinite bullets, NPC. Cheater. Yeah, very. It's very cheating. This is probably the most obnoxious NPC in the game. It's definitely one of them. Ow! Oh! That, that one got me. I got him back, though, at least, so... Excellent. There's that. Whew! Boy. Toughy. I, okay, I'm curious if... If we ring bells here, do you think I have to be, like, right next to you when I ring it? That's a good question. No, I think it'll actually work, but I believe that if I ring a bell and you answer it, that you will spawn in wherever you were standing. So you may have to run through all this stuff. Okay, okay, okay. I think. I will run to you then. That's probably the easiest way to do it, yeah. Because, yeah, there's no way I can run. Well, I can try to just, like, escape the dude, but... I uh, don't want don't to waste that potential backstab. That's true. <laughs> I'll be there in... Just a moment. Yeah, that's fine. Just a moment. Yeah, and there's a couple folks to talk to in the uh, meantime. Knock, knock. Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. Hmm. I'll have to come back and uh, try knocking on these doors again later. 
The bell is rung. What, you're here already? Jeez. Lady Jingle's fast. Lady Jingle moves fast. Well, ring, ring. She's a speedrunner now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, oh. Maybe I don't need to, uh, ring the bell again. Because it's not letting me now. But oh, I, I'm still, like, emanating that I have rung the bell. So maybe now that you have also rung to answer, maybe you will automatically spawn in. This is good testing for us to do. Yeah, we're learning. We are, maybe. Hey, oh, hey, oh. I think it's actually working. Neat, okay. I guess that makes sense so you don't have to waste insight. Yeah, I was about to say, like, that's a bummer if I have to uh, <laughs> waste insight every time. Hey, a jingle is back. Yes. Also, I never, I've never tried. I don't think I can. Hmm. Nope. I was just curious if I could drop items. Oh, yeah, that would have been interesting. No dice, but shiny. Oh, sh I can't interact with shiny, Dan. What do I do? The oh, shiny no. is taunting me. Oh, that's the cruelest. Oh, yeah, because I killed them while you weren't here. Bummer. All right. All right, you, you get this attempt. I, I failed mine. I don't know. You could, you'll could you do way more damage with yours if you actually land it. <laughs> Let's see. Do, 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 don't turn around. Nothing to worry about. It's just me. Nice. Right. Yeah. Boy, you're sturdy, though. Got a shield. Got a shield and Don't everything. Don't you know wow. what game you're playing? Yeah. Did you forget that this is Bloodborne? <laughs> oh, look at you, Dan. Look at me. No, you don't. Yeah, that was nice. much easier. <laughs> ah. You know, when you don't have infinite bullets and an annoying shotgun blast, it <laughs> sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see uh, what this person says. Boy, everyone really loves their blood here. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan Love of the, the blood. blood. Oh, I think there's a little uh, skittery friend here. Yeah, yeah. Skittery friend. Get him. There. Got him. There we go. Yes. I think I actually have at least one twin bloodstone shard now. I might be able to bump this weapon up again as soon as Ooh, I get back nice. into uh, into the workshop. Let's definitely not die to this boss. I have a lot of echoes right now. <laughs> How many echoes you got? Pushing 30,000 now. Ooh, you do have a lot of echoes. It's a lot of echoes. The way you say that makes me think you have a lot more echoes than that right now. No, I only have 13. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have been surprised if you somehow had a ton of echoes just from your dark work. I think it's because you probably cleared out most of the zone. Yeah, that probably is a good part of it. It's a neat statuary here. Interesting. It doesn't look like a human, Dan. It sure doesn't. Weird. It's interesting. Like, I never really thought about the fact that this stuff is built into the, uh, church, uh, like, decorative elements from the start. Like, uh, I never really took notice of them before. Now, why would something yeah, like yeah. this be on a cathedral, Dan? <laughs> it's a fine question. Hmm? Uh, let's go inside and ask. I'm sure there won't be any weird statues on the walls when we open this door. Nah, probably not. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. Wait a minute. No, no, you, you know, we're wrong. There's... what? <laughs> statues inside as well? Well, now we have to ask. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello? Is anyone here? We have some questions about the statue. Oh, it's just, it's just a lady. I'm sure she'll have uh, information for us. That's true. I bet she knows. I have statue questions.
Say hello to the next boss, everyone. It's Vicar Amelia. Man, I hope that girl got away. <laughs> There's a beast all of a sudden. <laughs> Run, lady. There's a beast in here. It stole your locket. <laughs> uh, I love the sound design of this game. This might be one of those unsettling, like... There's a lot of screaming enemies in Bloodborne. This might be the most unsettling one. Yeah. It's like, man, that sound is, un like, creepy. The, <laughs> the amount of teeth in, like, that long of a jaw is very unsettling. Oh, no. <laughs> no hit. No hit, please. Oh, whoa, that was weird. Huh. Interesting. Okay, okay. I, I hit, and uh, it, it did the damage, and then immediately took it back. So maybe I, I was just a little... Oh, oh, it just occurred to me, there's a weapon. While you're doing that, there's a weapon. I need. There's something I need to be equipping on my item bar real fast. What is it? 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 Gotta remember. Numbing Mist, that's the one. Oh yeah, good call. Because later on, she's gonna try to heal. I need to make her not do that. Glad to have you here as a distraction. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. I think she does it when she's like, uh, like one-fourth health or one-third. Oh! Got me. Oh, no. Bad news for me. Distraction's gone. That's all right. It's just time for me to get good again. Great music, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. For those of you who can actually pay attention right now, which I cannot. Ah. Keep underestimating her reach. We're fine, though. Just chipping away at that health. <laughs> Keep chipping away. Chipping away. Chip, chip, chipping. No grab. I would hate it if you grabbed. Okay. Whoa, get out of there. That got gone bad. No grabs. Stop it. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm, your reach, though, it's bonkers. And I hate it. Come on. Do not heal. No heal. That's right. Oh, you're so sturdy. I believe, Dan. I believe too. Sounds good. <laughs> That's good, because nothing sounds good in here. <laughs> All bad sounds. I'm so focused. <laughs> Boy, what a tantrum. She's so mean. Why do you think she's so mean? Ow. Why are you so mean? We just wanted to ask about statues. Yeah. What's, what's the deal with these statues? <laughs> What's the deal with Bergenworth? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I'll, I'll just entertain Dude. myself over here. <laughs> That's good, because I don't know if I've got the... I don't know if i got the blood vials for this win. Oh, I believe. You got it. Uh, Handled. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh. Oh, alas, it's alright. It's alright. We'll do it this time. I believed. I believed. Dan. I know. I thought it might happen to you. You know, in fact, before I summon you back again, let me go mm -hmm. upgrade this weapon a bit. So, uh, 
I'm putting out a little oh, okay. bit more damage. That'll help some. And we can say hi to the doll. I love chatting with the doll. Hello. Welcome home, good hunter. Thank you. What is it you desire? Just chats mostly. Over time, countless hunters have visited this dream. The graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Nice talking with you. Okay, let me go up here and use a... Uh, cold blood or whatever it's called, I forget. Yeah, cold blood, okay. And... I don't know how much I'm going to need to actually do this, but let's see. Fortify weapon, perk hammer. Ah, I need one more uh, twin bloodstone shard, I think. Alas. Dang. Oh well. Dang indeed. That's fine. Don't need it. We'll win anyway. See y'all out there. All right, everybody. All right. We've had our fun. Time to actually win, though. That's right. No more Mr. Nice Hunters. Yeah. Need my echoes back. Dang it. So many. Gosh dang it. Need those echoes. Excuse me, Amelia. Like, forget the statues thing. I don't need to know. Can I have the echoes back, though? Yeah. We're taking them. Whether you say yes or no. Yoink. Okie dokie. Fights, though. Okay. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I dodged that. Disagree. Nice. Did she? Did she? She fall in a like visceral stance for you? Uh, she didn't fall into a visceral stance that time. But I think like if you do enough there that time, maybe. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. I can't remember what causes it. If it's causing enough damage to her arms that does it, or uh... I think it's I think it's her head. Is it? Oh, I missed. It's going a lot better with two of us mm -hmm. than the amount of damage you put out. So shouty. We're right here. Yeah. You don't need to yell. Use We're your anxious. insight and your cathedral voice. <laughs> Please. And don't hit so hard. Oh, oh, oh what did so I just say? She's not happy with you right now, dude. No, not thrilled. Think she's gonna heal? Nope. <laughs> she's gonna throw a little tantrum. <laughs> Opposite of heal, tantrum. Opposite of heal. Healing's coming soon, though, for sure. Mm-hmm. There we go, there we go. What? <laughs> I'm right here. Just tell me what is so what do you upsetting. Want? Fruit gummy? Okay. Hey, there's another head, like, a uh, visceral attack. Beautiful. Nice. Boy, I wish that number was bigger, though. Okay, now it's definitely coming. Oh, yeah, for sure. I got the numbing mist ready. Yep, yep. Oh, yep, she's yep, stunned yep, again. Yep. No, that you staggered her. Nice. Man, she might not get a chance at this rate. No nope. heals. Nice. Nice. Beautifully done. Awesome. Ah, uh, yes. And we got a gold pendant. Well done. Thank you again, Jingle. You've saved me again. <laughs> we did it. We Together. did it. Woo. Got a lantern here, which is nice, which I can go ahead and light. And also, to wrap this episode up, something that Soulsborne almost never, ever does. We're going to interact with an item, and we're going to see a cutscene showing past events happening to NPCs. Almost never happens, so enjoy. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. 
undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. There we go. Very interesting, that little memory we just got by interacting with this beast skull thing here in this chapel. We will talk a lot more about this later. Yes. Anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. We will see you next time for some more Bloodborne antics. Until then, y'all take care and goodbye. Goodbye, y'all.